Over the last year, I have spent $67,453.71 on Google Ads to generate calls for a local home service contracting business that I own. And this is not the extent of my call generation experience. I actually generate calls for lead generation purposes and ultimately resell those calls. So I've spent a lot of money, a lot more money than what is in this account on generating phone calls. And for the purpose of this video, I wanted to talk about these click to call ads that Google has natively built into their platform that I think kind of throw a lot of advertisers and marketers for a curveball because they seem very simple to set up and they are simple to set up and that's the way Google likes them. And they seem effective because, hey, user just clicks to call on your number and gets connected, right? So they must be good. But the reality of it is, well, my experience, and let me know in the comments if you have had a different experience with these ads, but after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in with that number, I'm figuratively speaking from my cumulative ad spend in other accounts. In this account, again, you can see directly, specifically 67 grand here. Um, probably in this ad account, hundreds of thousands of dollars if we go back over the years, because these accounts, or not these accounts, but these campaigns, I really don't change, generating calls. And very little of that ad spend, actually none of that ad spend, as we're going to see, is really going to these click-to-call ads. So we'll just talk about my performance here real quick before we go into the specifics of the click-to-call ads. We can see uh, my conversion rates very high here, 26.27%, 24.19% in the cost per conversion at 37.15 for this campaign and 49.77 for this campaign. We have target cost per conversions in each one of these, this one being at $40, this one being at $50. So you can see they're sticking to their target cost per conversion. That's a target CPA you see right here under the bid strategy type. Uh, the conversion rates are good. And these campaigns were only running five days a week from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So they were running about, what is that, 40 hours a week. Uh, and I don't know how many hours a week there are in, how many hours in there are in a week, but I think that's about 25% of a 24-7 schedule. So they're not running constantly, right? There's a lot of hours that are missed here. Because we've got such a narrow window, if we wanted to increase the volume and conversions and increase the business, we could run from 7 a.m., to say 10 p.m. with an after hours call center. But here we're just running these from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and generating this volume of conversions. And how this is happening is it is happening with a landing page. So let me just use this little tool that I downloaded here, which lets me do a whiteboard. I really just want to use this. Uh, and I really don't know how to use this here, but let's just draw a square to represent our Ad, you know, we have some little stuff in here and then we have a landing page. So we'll draw out the landing page and then the phone number is on the landing page. What happens if I type something in? Oh, nothing. So we'll just draw some little numbers here to be figurative of the phone number. This is probably the worst drawing ever. But ad goes to the landing page. We have a dynamically inserted tracking number. That tracks the calls, that triggers the conversions. So each one of these, I don't know how to get out of this thing. Ah, the same key that got me into it is getting me out of it, okay. Uh, so yes, it triggers the conversion for first time callers that last more than 60 seconds, which is what we have in this column. Now, the click to call ads, I have click to call ads in here, but what you're gonna see is that they really don't run at all. So when we come in here to the ads level, here they are, and this is an expanded text ad which is no longer available. It's not even the responsive search ads. That's how old my ads are. These ads really have not changed for years. Uh, but here we've got the click to call ad, and we can see that over the last year, it's only gotten 43 impressions, two clicks. Now you might say, well, that's because your ads are performing so much better with the text ads. That's what I thought too. So for two weeks, and I did this over the most recent last two weeks, basically a few days ago I ended the test, I turned off all of my text ads just to run, just to force run this click to call ad. And what happened? Well, nothing happened. It didn't run this click to call ad. And then uh, to take it even one step further, I set the campaign to maximize clicks here under settings. 
uh, instead of maximized conversion, I just figured maybe it just didn't have enough data. And I removed, you know, my target CPA and all that. And still the click to call ad did not run really at all. It'd make like one impression a day. And I've tested this in other ad accounts and had the same result. These click to call ads really don't run. And when they do run, the click cost on it is incredibly high. So for example, just to put some numbers behind it here, because I actually duplicated this out and set it to clicks and all that, and I'm not gonna dig around in my ad account and try to pull it all up. Uh, but basically what happened when I did that is my cost per click went up to like $60. So it basically 6 x and then people weren't even connecting, right? So when they click on this number from their mobile device, it, they still have to like click to confirm that they actually wanna call it. Their native mobile device, Android or iPhone, will generate a little pop-up that they have to click to confirm. So people would click on the ad, I'd get billed for it, but they wouldn't click to actually compete, complete the call. So let me just kind of think about and give my two cents why that is. And my thought is that users, when they just hit the search results, and they see the phone number, they're not actually ready to connect, right? They wanna know who this business is and kind of get some insight behind them. There's not enough context from a SERP result where that phone number is displayed to really make users wanna to click to call. So some users will click on the phone number thinking it's gonna take them to a landing page, some just wanna see what happens, and then that bills you. But the cost of getting someone to do that, because most people don't just wanna click right on that phone number from the search result, is so high that the cost per click goes up basically exponentially. Ultimately, what that leads to it is, is that it is cost ineffective to run these click to call ads. And so few people click on them that, you know, unless your budget is just maximized clicks at a very high number, which is what it took to get me to, to get these ads to start showing for me, albeit at a very, very low impression rate. Uh, we did have, you know, other ad accounts I tested this in where it made, you know, more than one impression a day that this account was getting, but it was actually running on a nationwide level. So this is a local level. So naturally it's gonna get more impressions, but still the cost per click was egregiously more high, egregiously higher. And again, I think that's a lot, has a lot to do with the fact that there's no context from the time that someone hits the search result and sees your actual phone number there. They just don't know what they're getting into. They need that landing page to kind of make that connection and associate them with your business and give them some context into what you offer and who they're calling before they actually call. So as you can see from my ad performance here, as you can see from my ad performance here, uh, I've done a lot of testing or not so much testing from this example here because this is you know direct results, but I've spent a lot of money on call campaigns and really got them dialed in. And what has worked incredibly effective for me here on both a local business level and a national level, running ads nationwide for um, you know businesses that can receive those and they typically have a call center that can receive ads nationwide on nearly a 24 seven basis, is sending traffic to the landing page with the phone number, giving them context and reason, presenting your offer on that landing page to get them to call. That works far, 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 like way more effectively than the click to call ads, which the click to call ads, again, they're a very shiny object. They sound good in theory, but in practice, they just don't work out. So that's my take on the click to call ads. That's the reality of the click to call ads as it's been for me in this one ad account and other ad accounts that I work with. Let me know what your experience has been with these click to call ads. Have you experienced something different? Have they worked wonders for your business? Let me know in the comments below. On that note, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, you know the drill. Do me a sweet one. Hit that like button. Do yourself a sweet one. Subscribe to the channel so you get all of my insights into digital marketing. That's a wrap. I'm signing off.